Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and remember a couple of weeks back when Konami essentially kind of trolled the community by saying that they were going to be releasing one of the most powerful cards of 2017 in Raging Tempest as a world premiere card, but then gave us zero information on the card other than the fact that it had no effect? Remember that on their Konami blog a couple weeks back? Well, that kind of got swept under the rug a little bit because people started thinking that Konami was either just thinking the player base was stupid and was actually talking about Mulmerat, uh, but then ultimately it just basically got swept under the rug and people lost interest for the most part. People stopped talking about it. But today Konami actually spoiled what the card actually is. And it is actually a very, very good and solid card. And I actually really like the implications that this card could have for 2017. And they are right. It could actually be a defining card of 2017 for a few differing reasons, even though it has no effect text. But the card that they have spoiled is Sea Monster of Theseus. It is a water zombie level 5 fusion monster that is a tuner. That's the key thing. It is a tuner monster. Now it does have regular fusion summoning requirements of any two tuner monsters, but you should never be summoning it in that method because of the fact that instant fusion exists. In fact, throughout the entirety of this article that they've posted on their blog, they are hyping up the reason that this card exists is because of instant fusion being a surrogate combo piece in decks for literally the past like 10 years basically. There's always been some form of deck that has used instant fusion as a way to bypass a normal summon and gain extra monsters on board to combo with, whether it's just been to summon a level 3 or a level 4 in addition to your normal summon or set to allow yourself to exceed or synchro summon or whatever, or if it's been something like more recently where we've had Elder Entity Norden to make one card rank 4s, one card synchro plays, all that sort of stuff. Now, this card is an instant fusion target and it's also a zombie and it's also a water, meaning it supports a lot of different things in the game. But the main thing being that it is a zombie, meaning that it has access to all the cool zombie revival cards in this game. Basically, the main one, Mizuki and Book of Life. Like, most of these cards are amazingly usable with this card. So this card directly supports zombie themed decks now as well as in the future rather efficiently and rather well. And that's something I really like. Now, there's a little bit of information that we can gather from this as well that is nothing to do with this card as well. Is that if you remember in the OCG how the OCG handled Elder Entity Norden is that they put Instant Fusion to 1 and then eventually they banned Norden and put Instant Fusion back to 3. Now, in this article, this card is a world premiere card. It is a TCG exclusive, and the only reason it is being released and hyped up as it is as a basically an instant fusionable tuner, which is something we've never had in the game, is because of Instant Fusion's existence. They go out of their way multiple times in this article to mention Instant Fusion as the preferred method of summoning this card, which means the little bit of information we can kind of sort of gather from this is that if anything does happen to the Elder Instant Norden package, in the future of the game, i.e. either Instant Fusion or Norden being hit, it is more likely going to be Norden being banned. If you're one of those people that thinks Norden has been in the game for too long and would like to see it go, versus if you're one of those people that thinks that Norden is fine and is kind of just basically just an equalizer, like every deck has access to it because of Instant Fusion's existence, thusly it's not that big of a deal or a big of a problem. Regardless of what side of the fence you're on, this sort of gives us a little bit of extra information that we can sort of come to the the speculative conclusion that Norden will actually be banned before Instant Fusion is ever touched. Because why would they be hyping up this card's release, specifically because of Instant Fusion's existence, and then immediately hit the card that they are trying to promote using to summon this thing. So there is that as a little bit of a conclusion and a little bit of speculation that we can have going forward into the game as it goes. But if Norden sticks around and this card exists, that means we're going to have a huge amount of utility to use Instant Fusion for in the coming months of 2017. Being able to Instant Fusion for a level 5 tuner, or being able to Instant Fusion for Norden into certain one card plays, like that's going to be a very, very large amount of toolbox and capability that Instant Fusion is going to have for any deck in the format. And basically, this supports a lot of things and actually just helps a lot of things function because of the fact that it is just a good generic tuner and that's something I really like and I actually want to know what you guys' thoughts are on this card in the comments down below basically because I don't think I could say enough good things about this card. It's so generically good that it's usable in so many different applications. The simplest cards and the simplest card texts are usually the most powerful ones. 
and the most versatile ones. Look back to Book of Moon and Mystical Space Typhoon. Two of the simplest cards in the game have one effect, one or two sentences of effect text, but has so many different uses in technical play as well as use. And basically, that's sort of the same line that this falls under. It's basically just a very, very well-supported, recurrable, synchro, not synchro, fusion tuner monster that is summonable off instant fusion, which is definitely a splashable combo piece. So, like I said, I want to know what you guys think about this card in the comments down below. But other than that, as always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description to my Facebook as well as my Patreon page if you want to go check that out and maybe consider backing me on Patreon to support me directly. It would be a great help. It would be investing in the future growth of this channel. Pledging as little as a dollar a day to the Patreon just invests your support, basically, into my ability to keep making content to grow my content, to grow my equipment base, to do things to improve the channel going forward, and it shows that you believe in my ability to do so, and I'd be eternally grateful no matter what you'd be able to pledge over there on Patreon. So definitely go check that out. There'll be a link on the screen as well as the link is in the description. But other than that, that's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching as I've already said. Thank you for your time as usual. Let me know what you think again in the comments down below about all the points that I've talked about, and if there's anything that you think that I missed, then definitely leave those in the comments down below as well. I'll also leave the link to this article in the, in the uh, description or the comments, one of those two, in case you have not seen it and want to give it a read. But other than that, thank you for your time as usual, as I may have already said. And as always, guys, take care. I will see you in the next video.